All right, YouTube, it's your man Grant249 coming back at you with my updated EDC bag that I promised y'all. I'll uh, be carrying this thing since September. This is the LA Police Gear bag. Stay tuned and we'll get into this thing. All right, let's talk about this thing. LA Police Gear, this is the first LA Police Gear bag that I've owned. And I, I'm telling you, I absolutely like this bag. I think this by far is my favorite EDC bag, especially being as compact as it is. Um, I know I raved on that Rock Project bag. That thing can carry a lot of stuff. It's great if I'm loaded down with a bunch of things, but if I wanna be simple and minimalist, this is the bag right here. Now, I was inspired by another YouTuber, and I have to look up my, uh, my history on YouTube to see which one, and I'll link his channel down in the description below. He put me onto this bag because um, he was doing, he was carrying this bag for different reasons. He's a, he's an outdoorsman, he's a bushcrafter, things like that. So this was kind of a separate pack that he can take off of his bushcraft pack. But I loved the, the, how compact it was. So I decided, you know what, let me go ahead and order it. And I've been carrying it since. And so this is kind of what it looks like. Um, you can put a morale patch in the front. It's got little loops in the front. Uh, it's got two loops on each side. Here where you see my hand sanitizer and then another one further back. It's got a zipper compartment in the back. Both sides are identical. And it's got one zipper compartment here and one zipper compartment up front. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take y'all in for a closer look and get back at you. All right, here we go, closer look. So on one side, I've got my little handy dandy hand sanitizer on this little carabiner. On the other side, I have my AirPods. Always stays with me. I did replace the zipper pulls with some chums, zipper pulls that I found at Bucky's. I just found these to just have a little bit more grip, be a little bit more uh, easier to pull on. Uh, it, I kind of liked it better than the ones that came with it. That's the only modification that I made to this bag. So let's get into what I carry in the front. Well, you can see here on the very front zipper pull, I have my Streamline Nano. Uh, I can't tell you how much I use this thing. I, I just love it, it's on all my bags. Up front is basically just pins and um, kind of a little snack thing. Uh, Y'all have seen that before. Shout out to my man, Lynn. He gave me this. It's a John Wick pencil. If you watch John Wick, you know, they say, I once seen John Wick kill a man with a number two pencil. So there you go. And then permanent marker. My uh, zebra pen, mechanical pencil, highlighter. As you can see, plenty of room in there. All right, let's get on to the next compartment. All right, getting into the much larger compartment. Um, zipper open. That's what it looks like as I have it right now. Let me get you in a closer look. As you can see, it's got a mesh pocket on the inside. And then I just have my stuff. So, my see the summit rag. This is my new little medical boo boo kit, whatever the heck you want to call it. I'll kind of show you that in a minute. And then tic tacs. Y'all know how I am about hygiene. So I always keep. I uh, not always. I just started keeping these tic tacs in this bag because why not? So that's kind of what it looks like. The bag does come with this accessory, which is velcroed, or it comes with a holster. So you guys that like to conceal carry in a bag, not on your person, I think you'll find that this bag works very well. And you can see, I got a whole lot of stuff in here. Um, not too much, because I really cut down what I carry. So, I got the wall box for charging stuff. I've got my cords down there. Um, Android cords, and I don't know what that other cord is. My Apple cord, my chapstick. I got my stream light, uh, flashlight, my uh, contact lens, uh, so I can, you know, my eyes are dry with my contacts, that. 
I've got a little emery board or file, nail file, whatever you want to call, um, lighter, and I've got my Leatherman Rev uh, back there. And then I got a little glow stick. Somebody thought that was a flare when I showed that to them and thought that was kind of funny, but no, that's a glow stick. So what I'm going to do is put y'all down and then, well, not really, I could do this one-handed. So you see this got one little pocket, let me get it to focus behind the cigarette lighter and one little pocket right here, which I don't keep anything in. So in this pocket, I just got spare contacts and they have a little compartment in the back, a little pocket in the back. You see, I keep some spare cash, my little right in the rain pad. And that's for the inside. Let's get into that back pouch. Oh, I did say I was gonna uh, show y'all guys. I got this on Amazon for like, five dollars i keep little wipes in there a little anti-bacteria some little band-aids a little bit of gauze um a little bit of like not trauma stuff but just in case you know kind of bleed control somebody got you know a, a scrape and it's kind of deep you could throw that in there so that's on one side and it zips up and then on the other side i kind of keep the medication you know the ibuprofen the uh cough drops, the um, anti-diarrhea, and uh, I got some Tums, the chewable little Tums in there. So it's just a little, a little something. I have the little carabiner on there, it sticks out, that way I can just pull it, and it's right there. Something small, something compact, something lightweight, that way I don't have anything bulky. So that's my new little, I guess you can call it a little medical personal, IFAC, whatever you terminology you want to use for it but that's that so for the back compartment you see i replaced that zipper pull too i've got uh, some hygiene stuff got some wet ones i've got some hot hands hand warmers because one day it might get cold in texas you never know my one day some plastic eatery cutlery my wife makes fun of me, but you never know when you need that. Out and about, kids, whatever. Little napkins. And then I got this little fixed blade that I think I got at Academy one day. I don't even know if that's the name brand or not. Leduc, I have no clue. Um, just a little fixed blade. I've never really had to use it. But just in case I don't want to use or beat up my Spyderco, I can use this. Um, there you go. It, maybe it is. Name brand Leduc for all you guys that like the the steel. There you go. It's pretty sharp. It's a cool little knife. Um, I have, I wasn't carrying it. I don't I don't carry this as a neck knife. So I said, why not have a fixed blade in my EDC? So that's basically it. Well, I hope that gives you some ideas as far as how easy EDC can be. Um, real quick, I think I paid thirty nine bucks for this bag maybe i caught it on sale for 30 i gotta go back and look a lot had has happened over the past couple of months if you watched my previous video um but i'll link all of that in the description the price that i paid and i'll put a list of what i have in here um, that way if you like that then you can add it to your kit um but yeah man any comments anything any questions that you guys have for me leave them in the comments and again, I thank y'all, man, for the views and the support and the likes and the subscribes. Uh, all my subscribers, I, I really appreciate it. Again, I'm on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Check those out. 249. Look for the little Texas 249. Um, and I will see y'all again in the next video. Y'all stay aware and y'all stay prepared.